Hey, Eric Sider here. Breaking the storm, breaking the rain. So thought I'd do a bit of a check-in and also let's talk about all this water that's running out to the ocean right now. Um, lots of news articles, lots of people wondering how we can store this water finally, right? The crazier stuff gets, the more people start thinking sensibly and inevitably that leads them to permaculture design. But most people are thinking of big, complicated, expensive, centralized projects to store water and of course distribute it to the masses. When, as Bill says, though the problems of the world are increasingly complex, the solutions are embarrassingly simple. So, fraction of that cost would take to put rainwater tanks in every single house in California. Obviously, that's a big job in itself, but lots of people out of work. Hello. There's jobs for generations on fixing the problems that we've created from mostly our own stupidity. But rainwater tanks is only going to be a small portion of fixing the stormwater and most properties are not set up to store even a fraction of what's possible to catch on a roof because this house is 2,500 square feet. Average rainfall in Sacramento is about 18 inches on a good year and that's little under 29,000 gallons a year. And where are you gonna store 29,000 gallons and still have room for a garden? That's a problem. But if houses were designed sensibly, you could store hundreds, 100,000 gallons of water underneath the same footprint of the house. So underground cisterns would be a remarkable improvement on how we're currently designing things. And on top of rainwater tanks, sensible earthworks. Number one being the soil. Adding organic matter to the soil greatly increases the capacity to store and hold water. So that's the cheapest and the largest rainwater storage is in the ground. Some other interesting facts about water use, because Americans probably are one of the most water wasting countries on the planet. So I've seen stats anywhere from 80 to 150 gallons per day per person just for household use. So that would mean let's average that out to 100 gallons a day, 36,000 gallons of water per person. You need almost twice as much rainfall to use that much water. So one, that's just ridiculous. I mean, you can easily get that down to 50 gallons a day, but still you have four people in a house, you're gonna limit four people to 50 gallons per day, starts to become an interesting conversation on where you wanna live if you wanna try and exist just on rainwater. So anyway, back to the check-in, so the chicken run is still surviving and it's much nicer inside with relatively dry. I did end up doing a little bit of earthworks just to slope this ground because it was the water was pooling up right at the drip line of the plastic. So this is all, I mean, there's only so much earthworking you can do when the ground is soggy wet. So something to consider when you are gonna do earthworks, you do need moist but not waterlogged soil um, and it was directing to the calamansi tree but it's actually becoming too much so i got it stopped there and now it's snaking around here this is all i gotta be once it dries out a bit i can finish shaping it <laughs> i'm gonna cover this all with mulch clean that up one thing i have been noticing with all the citrus around is a lot of it's been going moldy i mean that's a dead one moldy on the actual tree so that's uh could potentially be a problem with this concentration of moisture we definitely had a lot of droppage of fruit 
and a lot of it's gone moldy. So California being a major citrus producer, big, uh, big, big regret for me is the missed opportunity for capturing rainwater. But just as an aside, I mean, this is the most realistic place I could even do rainwater storage. And uh, the way they design these stupid roofs is there's basically like four down, four downspouts on each corner. So trying to get all the roof onto one side is would be unrealistic in most cases, or you'd have crazy amount of snaking pipes. But at best, I can get about a thousand a thousand square feet to this side. So that's an issue. Or it would have to have two separate storages. This side's got even smaller, smaller footprint. Now the uh, IBC totes, the uh, cubic plastic bulk liquid containers are very popular and very uh, cost-effective way to store water, particularly because they are only about four feet wide and you can stack them up high. So. As I mentioned, the cistern below the ground, you could also make walls of water storage on the side. Now that would obviously increase cost. As far as the garden, no real problems here. No issues with water. Got some cabbage coming in and it's, uh, it's already time to start seeds here. So no rest for the wicked. And uh, that'll be the next uh, video. See what seeds are ready to go. All right, well, what are we going to do about all this water? Store it. Like Bill said, if you do one thing, capture rainwater. So I got, uh, I got an idea I want to play around with, particularly for uh, temporary and portable and inexpensive rainwater storage. I think I got something that might work out pretty good. And uh, as always, if you need the uh, permaculture door opening, conversation starting t-shirts or consultation and design links for all that will be below all right thanks so much for watching and i will see you next time